So this is the Unstoppable Mesa. This build allows you to have incredible CC and incredible damage all in one package. Uh, this is the only setup that I use for every situation, for defense missions, for the out in the plains, everything. And it works amazing because what this does is it lets you have uh, incredible CC as far as a shooting gallery, just stunning everything all the time, forcing them to reload their gun, but they keep doing it over and over and over and they, they just never stop trying to unjam their gun, which is just a beautiful thing. So uh, if you know how shooting gallery works, it travels across all your teammates too. So if you're not in the area and your teammates are someplace else, they're still jamming guns wherever they are. So it's really, really awesome. And also your peacemaker is going to be doing crazy damage like it always was. And also your shattered shield is going to be at cap. Like, uh, I, I really wanted to make sure that Shattered Shield had the, the cap of its damage reduction. So uh, that's what this build has. Uh, let me show you how my modding is. I'm running uh, Fleeting Expertise and Streamline. I had to do that because uh, this guy is a mana whore. So you want to make sure that you have uh, the most reduction with your efficiency. Uh, I'm running Transcendent Fortitude along with uh, Intensify for that damage. And uh, you're using Overextended which is going to be picking up that range. Being over, overextended, you're losing a lot of your damage. But Intensify and Transcendent Fortitude actually pick it up to the point where it's actually reaching the cap for your third ability, and also your fourth ability is still doing pretty much the same thing. So it, it works great. Your fourth ability is still going to one-shot pretty much everything, so you don't need any more damage than 125%. You don't need to go beyond that. But if you get rid of Intensify, you're going to lose out on the, on the caps. So you want to make sure that you, you keep that damage on there. Uh, what I did was I wanted to make sure that I had maximum range for my second ability. So I'm overextended. I'm using Cunning Drift. And I'm also using Stretch. So this gets you to 40 meters on your shooting gallery, which will allow you to stun lock pretty much everything in the whole room. Like it, that it's so wide that it just it stun locks everything and it just keeps them stun locked forever also I'm using prime con continuity and I'm also using a uh, agar message I'm using these two because uh, they don't bring down any stats I was using narrow-minded but that brings down your ability range so you don't want to do that you want to have maximum range that way you can stun lock everything forever and uh, so I'm using these two to kind of uh, bring up that, that duration, which the duration is kind of miserable. It's not at 102%. At least everything is up. I would prefer the duration to be higher, but I can't get any higher than this, so I'm just running it like that. Um, if you don't have a uh, anger message, you can also use... You can use Constitution here, if you have that. It's pretty much the same thing. This is actually a little bit higher, but uh, I just didn't have enough capacity to, to run that, so I went ahead with this one, since it's a lot cheaper to run. And then I'm also using a dead eye. You could probably use anything you want. You can have any setup you like. If you want to change that out for a corrosive projection or something, if you want to respec into that, I didn't want to respec anymore, so I didn't want to put any more uh, forma into this. I have two forma on this, so uh, I feel like it's perfect like this. And I'm always using the sniper rifle all the time, so dead eye works perfect for me. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some gameplay, show you how it is and how it works. Okay, so we're going to be doing the, the Capture the Grenier Commander. This is the last mission, which is the 40 to 60 level mobs. We're going to go in there and we're going to see how it works. So let's do it. Alright, so we're out in the plains, heading to the first bounty mission now. Main reason why I use snipers a lot, because uh, it's just so much easier out here in the plains. Especially when you got all these mobs that are like super freaking far. And then you got these these airplane things that are always constantly flying around. They make it really annoying to fight. So I definitely it's definitely worth it to have these. Okay, so I'm gonna you gotta make sure you have all your buffs on, especially the third ability, because whenever they can attack, you know they're gonna rip you apart. So you want you want to make sure that you actually have that running all the time. But you as you can see, they're already stunned, so they're just gonna stay there stunned forever. Oh whoa whoa whoa! Chill the fuck out. But sometimes they can get like a quick little hit in every once in a while. But most of the time, they, they don't even do anything. They'll just stay stunned forever. So I'm just going to take care of these guys real quick. The planes is always pretty freaking pretty freaking crazy. That's why I usually I would be with a team. 
I don't usually solo all the time, but um, this is definitely like some hard mode shit. You always want to make sure you keep that buffs on though, because if you if you lose one of your buffs for even a second, you'll end up dying. You captured the location. Oh shit, I did it while sliding. I didn't even know you could do that. No way. Oh, like it kind of slides for like a second. Well, I learned something new. Alright, so we're defending the point. This is usually one of the harder missions because you get all these freaking mobs coming from everywhere. So I want to make sure that I, I keep my buffs on. It's like the most important thing is to keep that third ability on all the time. Because whenever they can attack you, they will kill you. So you gotta be real careful. Oh my god. They start dropping bombs. It's really chaotic out here. It's freaking insane. Make sure I keep my buffs on. Whoa. What the hell is killing me right now? It's like an airplane or something. There it is. Freaking asshole. It's mainly all these airplane things that, that are the biggest problem. Cause they'll come out, they'll start fucking bombarding you with all sorts of crazy shit and you don't even have a second to even think. So I try to keep moving constantly. Keep grabbing orbs. At least there's a lot of coverage here, so I'm not gonna get shot from out of nowhere. Oh, these guys are stuck up here. Finish them off. Oh my god, this dagger's terrible. See, they could barely even touch the console. Whenever they get close enough to it, they land up getting stunned. Oh, what? Oh, this shit. I hate this thing so much. You gotta be real careful with these assholes. So this this turret thing is insane. Oh my god. These slaughters. Oh. So painful to stand in that, that turret. Oh, there he is again. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, no. Oh, the turret of doom. Man, the turret of doom. Okay, let me change the melee. I need some help. Ah, oh, too late. This is why I, I wish I could put quick thinking in my build. I just, it does not fit. If I could fit it, then it, this would be the perfect build with no downsides. Just the biggest problem is that um, I can't I can't fit anything else. I build this to the T. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's all this craziness? Holy shit! They get on a rampage though, man. That see that turret is hell. Whenever that guy shows up with that turret, is is freaking hell. Take care of him. Is he at? Oh. It's unloading his face. Alright. Everything's gonna be stunned, so I don't have to really worry about this guy. Oh shit. The melee guys, though, they're scary. Alright. Well, I got a breath of the Eladon thing with Jiggy again. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Mesa in the Plains. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.